Okay, hello, uh, please tell me your name. I am Sareen Malik and I work with the Kenya Water Sector, um, Kenya Water and Sanitation Network of CSS. Okay, um, tell me what um, is your feeling about the outcome measurement meeting so far? Uh, so far, so good. I think they have been, uh, it's been good to try and uh, see what were the uh, common issues that have emerged, especially, for example, the use of the tool and the process and what were the expectations uh, generally. Great. Uh, tell me um, what you would like to tell the flow team, the developers and the guys who support user flow. Development or improvement, improvement. Of, uh, of learning programs. Mm -hmm. uh, it should go beyond just a two-day or three-day meeting and probably have something a little bit more substantial in terms of uh, trainings and data collection and the understanding of statistics in general. Mm -hmm. I think that would be most uh, helpful. I think also exploration maybe of uh, ICT tools like this one for much larger projects. For example, if we wanted to develop a water atlas, you know, what kind of tools and methodologies could be used for this kind of uh, uh, initiatives. Great. So, um, what is your biggest takeout from uh, the outcome measurement meeting itself? What are the improvements for the year and the plan for 2015 and beyond for your organization? For our organization, really, it would be um, number one, building the capacity of the uh, partner organizations to engage with duty bearers. That is really critical. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, to ensure that citizens are actually well aware of you know, service delivery arrangements in uh, water service uh, provision. Um, but equally, you know, an improvement in terms of coverage and access to water and the right to water I think would be really important. So I'm hoping that this process can inform uh, these much higher level type of uh, goals. Great, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>